Welcome to this reader card video on the NSC Decoder plugin. In front of us we have Notepad open, a reader connected to the desktop. I present the card to the reader and all of the information that is within that card showing the NFC information. So we have the website to go to, the poster text, the reader that was actually used to read that information, uh, the card type, which is an NFC part, smart poster, and the card UID. If I now present that card to a different reader, you will see the reader information has changed here. And then if I use a different card, you will see that the UID information has changed here. How is this done with reader card? It's done very quick and very simple have a status screen on the opening of reader card we can select the card types so the card types we have are all card types but as you can see there are an abundance of card types and you can either select or deselect the cards as required the reader types I have selected today all supported PCSC contactless readers but if we select particular versions you can see we have four connected to the machine today one Gemalto 1356 reader two 1356 Omni key readers and a 125 kilohertz props reader. So if we put those back to all supported readers and then select the action. The action is to place the ID into the keyboard buffer and to play a sound to the user giving confirmation that the card has been read. If we go to the format, the format is for the plugin NFC decoder, the UID we wish, the UID we have set is decimal standard, but as you can see, we have all the usual standards required for the industry here. And then we have an advanced keyboard format. With advanced keyboard format, we can select to put the smart poster URI, followed by a carriage return. Then we have the smart poster text, followed by a carriage return. All of the information that was shown earlier on Notepad is all typed in. And if we use the help function here, we can see what those different characters mean and which information we can show. Very quick, very simple. Another little feature that's very nice for this, for those cards that may be handed out during demonstrations, is that we can ask for a slightly different action to occur, and that is to launch the URL in a web browser. So we have selected here the URL, I need to go back to the format and take the advanced keyboard format tick off. Now, if I now present a card to a reader, we present the card, the web browser opens up onto readercard.com. Very quick, very simple, very easy. If you need to see more videos, please visit www.readercard.com.